Hello and welcome back everyone. Now for something loud. The Noise Box project is a do-it-yourself synth built from scratch utilizing an audio amplifier module and a custom synth board joined by a 3D printed body. As the name suggested, the Mozzie library is being used by this synth box to create and modify sound. Growl, sweep and coursing noises may be produced by Mozzie library that are far more intricate and captivating. Using common synthesis equipment like oscillators, delay and filters, one may rapidly and simply create these sounds. For the audio amplifier module, I am using the ZK TB21, which is a 2.1 channel audio power amplifier based around the TPA31162 power amp chip. The TPA31162 is a class D stereo amplifier that can drive speakers up to 100 watts. As for sourcing this audio module, I use PCBWay's gift shop for ordering this part. PCBWay also has a dedicated component store in addition to their PCB services. PCBWay gift shop is an online marketplace where we can source all sort of major electronic stuff from Arduino board to Raspberry Pi and module sensor etc. PCBWay has this system that let us purchase anything from their gift shop with beans. Beans are like redeemable currency or coupons that we can get by placing an order on their PCBWay site or by sharing your project in the PCBWay community to get beans. Check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at a lower cost. Here I am using the MIDI synth port from an audio project I completed a while ago. In essence it was an Atomega 328PU based sound modulation circuit. Five potentiometers are being used by this minimal setup to control tone that are generated using the Mozi library. This project will use a 12 volt SMPS adapter to supply power to the audio module. Therefore, a buck converter will be needed to be added to step down the 12V from the adapter to 5V in order for the synth board to function. The synth board contains an IP5303 IC that was added to provide power through a lithium-ion cell. To enable this board to be connected to an external 5V supply, we remove the onboard IP5303 IC and all of its necessary component. The audio amplifier module required 12V to power the system. However, the synth board required 5V. Here's what we discovered about the audio amp module. A small buck converter was added to the PCB because of the Bluetooth IC of this audio amplifier need 5V to function. We use a multimeter to determine the positive and negative terminal and we then added wires to the pad that will be linked to the VCC and ground on the synth board in order to provide this board with power. In order to begin this project, we first prepared the 3D design, which was divided into three main sections. The speaker applied on the bottom side, the audio amplifier module placed in the middle, and the synth board placed on the top. The STL file for each component were exported after the model was finished, and the white PLA was used to print all the parts using the Ender 3 with the 0.3mm layer height. All these parts can be found on this project page, which you can check out, link is in video description. Four M2 screws are being used to attach the mid-circuit holder component to both sides of speaker base assembly once it has been prepared. The audio amplifier board is then positioned and fastened there with four 2 M2 screws. Now the speaker and the audio amplifier module are back together and we can attach the speaker positive and negative terminal to the audio modules S plus and S minus terminal. Next we use four M2 screws from both sides to attach the two synth board holder to the holder of audio module amplifier. The synth board is then positioned onto the holder and fastened securely in its place using 4 additional M2 screws. Finally, we use 4 M2 screws to fasten the noise box nameplate to the rear of the box.
The end result of this straightforward but loud build is this amazing noise box that produces sound, modified it and even altered the pitch and frequency. Special thanks to PCBWay for providing this audio amp module used in this project. This is it for today folks. Please let me know if you need any assistance or more information about this project. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.